welcome back to my channel uh, I'm actually kind of starting this vlog very weird because I didn't think I was gonna like do a vlog I wanted to do like a sit down video but yeah it is what it is um, it is currently Friday at almost 10 past 9 10 past 6 sorry um, I am on my way to Empress Palace um, jo, what a <laughs> what a day I've had Ooh, guys if I could tell you about my day today what a day I've had anyway so my colleague um, this morning gets to the office and she says to me dude Jonathan Butler's performing at Empress tonight once off show just heard it on 702 I'm like how why did we not know about Jonathan Butler performing? Like, oh, that was a beautiful, oh, that's a beautiful sunset. Anyway, so I'm like, how how do we not know about Jonathan Butler performing? I mean, we're always on these websites looking for tickets to things, but I don't know, somehow it skipped us, um, which is fine. So we scramble, we scramble, we get tickets. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy two tickets because she wanted to buy for herself and her husband. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm also going to buy two tickets. I'll find someone. I'll find someone to go with me, you know? Cool. After the problems of the website, tickets purchased. Now, I need to find a plus one. Can you guys see the sunset? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be at an angle for you to see. Okay, never mind. So I'm like, okay, sharp. <laughs> I'll find a plus one. Is it me not scrambling around and phoning every person that I know is single, is willing to go out, is available, you know? And I'm like, I don't even expect you to pay for the ticket. I don't want you to pay for the ticket, you know, but supply your own drinks. Let's let's do that. But I'm not expecting you to you know to be out here and like pay and pay for the ticket and whatnot i just need somebody to go with me so i'm calling i'm calling i'm calling literally no one is available how is this my life people are not available my cousin is sick i don't i don't know i'm you know i don't just i'm like what the hell so Anyway, after much back and forth, back and forth, my colleague eventually um, invited her sister. So her sister's going to be my plus one. Because we didn't even get seats in the same place. That's the thing. Um, but it's fine. Ish. So honestly speaking, guys, like, my ego's at a bit of a knock. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm, 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 okay, I was in my feelings. I'm getting over it now. But my goodness was i in my feelings when i was driving home i'm like how do i not know any and it's not like i don't know people i think it's just that being an introvert you know you only have your limited number of people and when those people are not available it kind of makes you go jeez I, I i really don't have options the way i thought i did guys i wish i could show you the sunset how am i not recording I've been talking and talking and talking and not recording. Damn it. Okay, it's fine. So, guys, anyway, as I was saying, my ego has taken... It took a knock. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, it took a knock on my ego because I'm like, how is it that I'm scrambling scrambling and I can't find no one? Not one person to go with me? Like, I get, like, you know, yeah, at this time of the month, people don't have money unless if um, 2015 and you got paid and most of the people that I know, actually all the people I know don't get paid on the 15th. Um, so it was just one of those things. And I was like, yo, no one. Now we're chilling there in the office and I'm trying to find someone. Now I'm getting, like, depressed because I'm like, jeez, I can't find anyone. And then my colleagues are like, phoning 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 there are people phoning on phoning ole you know like yeah don't you want to go don't you want to go and people are like no because like obviously they don't know me so why would they 
agree to go with me in someone that they don't know, you know? So in Jay, it was just a mess. Now I'm kind of feeling like, um, I don't want to say consolation prize, like, Ugh, whatever that word is, I'll insert it, you know. I was kind of feeling like that. Like, damn, I couldn't find one person to go with me. Um, and people are hustling on my behalf <laughs> to get a date, you know. And the one guy that I really, like, I know he would have gone, it doesn't live this side. He, like, lives in freaking Northwest or Rustenburg or wherever. And I was like, dude... Today is not the day for you to be living in another province so far. You know, and then when I told him what it was for, he was, yeah, he was really upset at me. Sorry. He was, he's like, dude, you know I could have gone. And I know he would have because he's a music person like that. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. My, my colleague got her sister to come and join us. So yeah, it's going to be us. And I mean, it's going to be fun. Jonathan Butler is, you know, a once once in a lifetime opportunity i mean apparently he hasn't performed in south african over 25 years and he doesn't live in the country so this could be like the first and last time i ever see jonathan butler and i was like no i will scramble and get the money and get the tickets you know and so i did so i'm on my way there now um i actually left the house much later than i wanted to because, like I said, my day was just ridiculous. So yeah, I thought I'd just vlog while I still have a little bit of sun. It's not, it's not even sun, sunset. Um, and introduce the vlog, say welcome. My name is Miponi. If you have never been here before, um, please do subscribe, like, comment, share, do the right things. Um, I really do appreciate those that have subscribed thus far. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, guys. 100 subscribers like 100 people are gonna be like yeah i'm on that girl's channel you know so it's very exciting um but anyway let me let me focus on my actual driving and i'm following gps even though i'm going to empress i know where empress is but you know you just you will always gps just to get the quickest route to where you're going so yeah that's what i'm doing anyway I will see you guys at the show. It should be fun. Desk. Um, when I was working for some radio station, I pride myself on promoting South African music first. Because if I don't, who will? Yes. Yes. If I don't, who will? Yeah. So the song called Lonely comes on and we're listening. I'm like, play, play there, wait, play that again. And they played again. And I went to the cover and I look and I phoned his record company. I'm like, you recorded this guy, who is he? And they told me his story. I said, I need to find him and we need to make sure that we take him to the highest place that he can get to. Mm. I was the first person to play Lonely, no regrets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be loud. Be proud, be conscious, be South African, and welcome Ernie Smith.
<laughs> yes, please, baby girl. Oh my God. God. Oh. Early smell, amazing, amazing, amazing. I really need to start listening to jazz more because sure, it was so, you know, it was so amazing, guys. Like, it's so nice to be able to watch legends in action, you know, and doing what they what they do and and just all up in their element. It was really 20 out of 20, thousand out of thousand whatever you want to say that's what it was uh, i got home really late i think i got home just after midnight because the show started a bit late but it's fine it was it was worth the wait it was really worth the wait um so yeah so i drank a lot yes. actually no i don't think i drank a lot it's just that I did not eat properly yesterday um like i think i only had like one meal which was not the smartest thing which was like and that meal was like i think like chicken wings the woodworks um and then like a pie so it wasn't the best idea to do that but anyway it was done and then i drank a lot of wine a lot of wine and now today I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. And I woke up this morning. That's exactly what I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat that. I'm going to chow this. And I'm going to enjoy my food. Mm. I don't even remember when last I ate this or something like this. Mm -mm. So, enjoy. That's my life today. I'm not gonna be doing anything else. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna have water, lots and lots of water, and hydrate myself back. I mean, it's me and my couch, or me and my bed, the whole day today. I'm not gonna vlog anything. I'm not doing anything. Consider this me done for the day today. Because, yeah. oh, mm. 
But yeah, guys, just thought I'd come in, give you an update on my life and what's happening right now and how I'm feeling and how much I am going to just enjoy eating this scorpion. I don't know. I posted on my status and someone said, yeah, no, scorpion. Because I don't really eat this kind of thing. And I was like, yep, I'm hungover. I need recovery food. I need to recover strong. Acha. So this is not, I bought this at Food Lovers. But this Acha in here is not the Food Lovers one. There's a lady in our office that sells Acha. Oh, Acha, it's, it's the best. It is the best ever. <laughs> ever. Into whom I'm gonna go enjoy my food. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a lot because I'm that hungry and I want to be that stable. So, yeah, guys, eh, let me eat. Let me eat. I've been saying, let me eat. Let me eat. I will see you guys on whichever part of the next phase of my life I'm going to be vlogging. Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, today is the 20th of March. Um, it's the national shutdown. So, working from home. Um, I'm just trying to log on to my PC. Uh, they don't know I give me problems. Like, I don't have load shedding at the moment. I actually need to check my schedule. Hold on. I think when I checked it said four, okay. Four to six, that's fine. Um we'll see if they cancel it or not. Because yesterday I was supposed to have load shedding four to six and then like about like ten past four. I'm like, wow, the electricity is not going off, what's going on? And then I went on to WhatsApp and one of the groups that I'm on and people are like, no, load shedding is being cancelled. I was like, oh, this government guys, you know our government. <laughs> We are in a very abusive relationship in South Africa. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, I, I guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We are in a very abusive relationship in South Africa. Our government and its people. Hey, anyway, it's fine. Um, so, load shedding is at four. That's fine. At least I'll be able to work. But I haven't really heard anything dramatic about what's happening today. It's quite, it's quiet in my area. Um, which is very surprising because where I live hey, People will protest Shem, your people will protest where I live and you'll be seeing messages in all the groups Going yo, people have closed here and this that and the other but It seems quiet Why do I feel like I just got scammed? So here I am, I come home, driving, innocently minding my business. And then there's a little van yana there. And this guy's like, hi, I'll see you guy. I'm like, hi, cool, good, whatever, and whatever. He's like, yeah, we we do this what, 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 what for your grass and whatever. And it's 20 rand a bag and we don't charge for labor. So I'm like... 20 rand a bag, okay, it's probably not gonna take up that much, you know. My neighbor's busy, they're finishing up at her house. So I was like, yeah, hey, plus my grass has been suffering. Cool, go on and come and do the thing. I'm seeing bag after bag after bag after bag just being poured out and poured out and poured out on my grass and they're busy and they're busy now there's like a pile of bags sitting there and i was like oh my god 
I, I'm, I'm like, how much money is this going to cost me? And I don't have money right now. And I'm telling this guy, I like, you know, I see your guys' strategy, you know, you make it seem like, oh, it's just 20 rand a bag. And, you know, we're just going to put it on the grass. No, those bags are like, it's like a five, five kg. Yeah. 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 Pop, you know, but then they only feel it like halfway. You know what I mean? Anyway, so there they go. Counting, counting, bag after bag after bag after bag. My money's finished, guys. The man, whatever money I thought I had, it's finished. Like I literally said to this guy's like, mm mm. Mm -mm. I feel like I've been scammed. I really do feel like I've been scammed. But they say they are saying that you know it's a once off nearing wearing wearing my cross, my cross, my cross. So we'll see. We will see. And this is after a day that I spent spending money because the color to do actually not to call call to say one. Send more. More send more I'm not okay guys i'm really not okay i am yo yo it's like that thing of the money that i spent earlier on it's coming back and i'm yo i am not okay i'm not okay i legitimately wanted to show you guys what i bought <sighs> okay guys let me just Like, I'm not okay, but anyway, let me just show you guys what I bought today. Um, I'll start with this. So, I'm just trying to get some winter stuff. I don't have winter clothes. So, I went to H&M. There was actually a jersey that I'd seen on another lady on YouTube that I wanted. And then when I got to H&M, I was just underwhelmed by that, that jersey. Like, for me, it wasn't worth 400. How much was it? 429? It wasn't worth it. So... I looked around, I saw this one. I think this is really cute. This is like a like a beige fawn. This is the texture. And then this is a turtle neck. So I bought this. I love this. It fits so nicely. It's warm. Like this is gonna be my favorite accessory in winter. Then I saw these pants. Yeah. These cutie patootie pants. Oh, guys, these pants are so beautiful. They don't fit. They do not fit. It's a problem getting them up. And then they sit here at the bottom of my stomach. Like here. Below the fat. So, these are... Then I went to... Lovisa. Actually, initially I went to poetry. Sorry, because there's a pair of earrings that I saw on Tandy Gama's vlog, and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. They were like, um, they had the little stud place was gold, and then it was like pearls around. It was so cute. So I get to poetry, the earrings are 250 rand. I was like, yeah, no, no, Kishapa, I'm not gonna be spending 250 rand on a pair of earrings. No. So I went to Lovisa because they always have some specials. So I bought the four for 200 and then I bought another pair, pair of earrings that was on sale. And that pair of earrings actually reminds me of the ones that um, I saw on Tandy's vlog. So I just, let's start with these ones. These were the ones that were on sale at Lovisa. These remind me of, these are the ones that I said, they remind me of the ones that um, from Poetry. I'll put a picture just to show you guys how they look. And then... The next few, these are the ones that were on the four for 200. So this is the first 
pair of earrings. Ooh, guys, this lighting is horrible. There we go. Okay, they're a bit. How do the influencers do it like this? <laughs> this is what they look like. Just a nice little hanging earring. Um, so the back part is gold, and then this little front part is like a like a rose, not a rose gold, like like a pink, like a dusty pink color. So I like these. I don't have anything like this or a color like this. So I bought those. These caught my eye as I walked into Low Visa. I was like, sold, sold. I will find the other ones. Oh God, oh. These are the type of earrings that just go with everything, like everything. I'm obsessed. Then I decided to get something with a little bit of color because I don't have earrings that have color. So I got these. These, these these so cute and then i just got me another pair of like neutral earrings they're like more brown than neutral but i mean brown i guess is as neutral as as it can get and then after spending all that they gave me a free gift isn't this nice so you get to pick what you like and i was like oh i like the blue if you didn't know blue is my favorite color so got this this got me so this was my free gift and yeah so that's what i bought at le visa here is the mother of the spending well what i thought was the mother of the spending until you guys skew hold on this is weird so what i thought was the mother of my spending today um is now the second parent or whatever the deputy after the grass so <laughs> before i show you guys like i'm not okay with how much money i spend on this because as an adult i've never spent this much money on myself for anything or any one singular item let me put it like that any one singular item and here i am going to spent for my niece because i made a promise on her birthday um she turned 16 in december so she asked me for a pair of these and i was like girl you can't ask me two days before your birthday i don't have money you know but i'm a holler to you couple my match april and i saw so it's going to certain guys in the same duty more same duty more for three months, three whole months, it's been just sitting here, you know, and then she made a little bit of, hey, auntie, how are you doing, kind of contact over the weekend. So I knew that she's waiting. She's waiting for me to be like, I got your gift. So guys, I went and I bought this girl a gift. I've never, yo guys, like people that buy sneakers, I have, respect on a whole nother level for you guys because yer yer the tequila tura guys they are so expensive like who does this but i am gonna say that it was worth spending for my niece um you only turn 16 once she doesn't really ask me for much you know and and she's she's a good child you know she's you know brilliant at school and all of that so it's worth spending so i went to nike and i said listen i need something like this or whatever and they were like yeah no we've got the shoe for you with the price that it costs apparently it's a limited edition so somebody must please let me know if you're a sneakerhead please let me know if this is an actual limited edition because i was trying to google it just now and it's not giving me much but if you're a sneakerhead please let me know so i bought Oratile Angel Silla. The uh, women's Nike Air Force 107 SE. Please tell me that this is a limited edition. My heart. Yo, guys. But anyway, let me just show you guys what these look like. They are very beautiful. I'm not going to lie. These are actually quite 
they they <laughs> they so pretty like look at this this is so pretty uh, hold on hold on you guys sorry about that guys i needed to answer my cousin um so as i was showing you this is the shoe i mean it's a beautiful shoe i'm not gonna lie it's beautiful ne? this is what it looks like here at the back and so forth and then it's got this little gold medallion thingy that comes out it's got a bit of weight so it comes out and then you can just slot in here and then the shoes red inside but anyway it's worth it's worth the spend so um i really hope that she likes these um i don't know <laughs> if this vlog is going to come out before she gets them i'd really actually have liked to capture her reaction on camera but we'll see guys we'll see i don't think i'll be i won't be able to get them to her um before this vlog comes out because i okay guys that was that was my money spent today i have no money yo life is a scam guys tell it they are fail like i fail and jay like it's like if they pour water on you and the water just it's like that's what happens with money it just it just like really you know and here i am going you know i don't want to be hogging onto money i don't want to be scared of spending money because you know it's that energy of you're just so scared to use it that if it if it but yeah today it's a no for me so anyway guys i think i'm gonna close off the vlog here i hope i've got enough footage i haven't even started editing this vlog and i've got so much footage but the most <laughs> probably the most exciting thing was when i went to watch jonathan butler but yeah i think this is going to be the end of the vlog um thank you so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed please do the right thing and subscribe i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers guys. as we are speaking now um i'm on 75 let me just check let me just double check I think I'm sitting on 75 as at right now. <gasps> 77! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm sitting on 77 as, as at right now. So, yeah, guys, just a few more, few more subscribers to get to 100. So, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Um, get your friends, your family to subscribe. Share this video so that they can subscribe and so that, you know, my views can, can go up a bit. Um, but yeah, to everyone that is continuously watching and is supporting me, thank you so much. I appreciate all your words of encouragement, guys. Those of you that know me personally, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, this is this is something that is really totally out of my my comfort zone, and the fact that you guys are so supportive of it, I really do appreciate it so much, so 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 much. Like, kilerata ka love, guys, ka love. So thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe, comment, like the video, share the video. Um, and until next time, bye.